Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I got to tell you, on my visit on the farm show circuit this winter, one of the most interesting conversations I had was with Sean Yenerke, founder and CEO of Leading Edge Industries, a fascinating company in Groton, South Dakota. Now, Sean and his team have two products that are red hot the Harvest Sweep and the Low Judge. And they're both solving problems and saving farmers big money. We are going to visit with Sean Yenerke with Leading Edge Industries. Sean, thank you for uh, having us out. Boy, we've been visiting here about uh, 30 minutes and the number of people stopping to look at the, your harvest sweep and your low judge, you are getting some serious leaning here on these two products. Yeah, well thanks for stopping in, Greg. We appreciate the time. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we got a couple great products that have just been creating a lot of buzz for us. Um, you know, being a fifth generation farmer up in South Dakota and running my innovation company, uh, we, we kind of know what the, the problems are and what costs us a lot of money. And with these economics and, and how tight they are nowadays, we're trying to bring the best products we can uh, to the marketplace. Right. And harvest, now Harvest Sweep, let's start here, Sean. Uh, you came out with Harvest Sweep in, was it about 13? Yeah, December 13 we came out, uh, okay. started the project in 11, uh, patented it back then. Okay. And what it does is, is you know, we had this corn shatter loss. We were losing massive amounts of corn shatter, especially if the corn got dry, um, or in stressful years. Right. And we just, on our farm, it, it just kept getting worse and worse. The varieties uh, the seed companies were breeding, you know, they are breeding them to dry down even faster every year, which is a great thing um, to save drying costs, but we started having other logistical issues. So we, we needed to fix it, and right. the harvest sweep is, it works awesome. Developed How long did it take you to develop it? Uh, we worked on it and field tested for about two, two and a half years, and then we launched it, and uh, and been growing models every year since. Okay. How many models um, are you set up for now? Yeah, we build up to 22 models. Wow. So we, we cover almost everything in the U.S. and a lot of the European and corn and companies. Okay. And again, a universal problem you're, you're addressing here with, with the loss. Well, it is. Um, you know, shatter loss is a real thing. It's tangible. And if anybody's ever bailed corn stocks or just went and checked, uh, it's, it's a real thing. And, and with our product, uh, the way it works, uh, the way our design is patented, uh, we can catch up to 85% of all the corn shatter loss, but still not have any issues with feeding, uh, logistics, or bringing trash in. Okay. Well, give us walk us through here, Sean. We yeah, sure. Come over here. Well, there's three components in the harvest sweep kit. Uh, yeah, first of all, what comes in our system is we have a set of deck plates. Um, yep. First of all, they're in, they have a patented retaining edge on. It's a very unique edge we see in C mill, and that's actually what holds the corn on the plate. Okay. The second thing we have is our custom built chains. Uh, with that, it's the paddle design is what's unique. And the third thing that comes in our system is our impact sweep pads. It has a vertical brush and an impact reducer on top of the paddle. Okay. And those three things working together is what we need to accomplish our goal. And what kind of feedback when you came out with this in 13 in the last few years have you been getting from farmers? Well, since we were the first ones on the marketplace uh, to even ever have a product like this, I mean, it was tremendous. Uh, we have a video that shows uh, just corn loss, corn kernel loss, and how it grabs it. Um, and that video just stops, stops most of these guys in their tracks. That's what I was seeing here this morning. Uh, so now the way you sell Harvest Sweep, you have a direct website, is that correct? We do. So we uh, we sell direct to to the customer, and we support direct uh, six days a week. And it's kind of ironic being a being a fifth generation to have a lot of corn combine acres under my belt. You know, we help guys not just on install and setting, but it's funny. A lot of times uh, they'll find an anomaly one year, and they call. They call us up and say, "Hey, how do we set our combine?" We're, and we're more than happy to help them. Uh, so you can share it, knowledge with all your well, customers. Well, it base. is, and I think at the end of the day, I mean, that's kind of what the farming community is. We, we combine a lot of corn in the Dakotas, and uh, up there we have every type of condition. Right. Um, so, so no, we're more than happy to do that. But the biggest thing is, is to make sure our product works well for them. And when times are tight like this, you know like we've been in this economy for a few years, ROI is what it's all about. You're getting some really positive feedback. There. Absolutely. I mean, and that's what we designed the, the product for. I think as a, as a farmer, too, uh, that runs an innovation company, 
What I've found is if you keep the, the farmer, the end user, the number one priority, um, it works for everybody. It works for the, the distribution, the manufacturing, and, and, and I guess that's, that's what we did. Um, and in saying that, uh, just like the materials, we use bulletproofing AR-400 in the plates. You know, it'll last two to three times longer than the, the factory place. We did that on purpose. Wow. The chains uh, made sure everything is built in the U.S., plus we upgraded the chains to chrome mount pins. Um, as most farmers know, it's, it's uh, you know, that's where the wear comes from. And then, just like our, our plastics, uh, we spent two years blending uh, military-grade plastics, so not only were they, uh, lo the longevity was maximized, under those extreme conditions, but when it gets cold, that they last. So, and talking different conditions, Sean, you really, really a big thing with you with your products to test them out, uh, not just in one area type of condition. Well, absolutely. I mean, regional testing is very important to a success of an innovation company. You can't uh, just put it out in the field. Oh, yeah, it works, and then push it to the right. marketplace. You need to test in multiple conditions. You got to test in multiple regions. And, and as a, again, as an ag producer, uh, we know that. And How about cost? What are we talking uh, per row here, Sean? Uh, so it's 1450 per row for our three components. Okay. And, you know, the return on investment is phenomenal on that. Um, yeah, that's sounds... Get, the thing is, is with our the components we have, you get what you pay for with us. It works, it lasts, and it does what we say it does. And. You know, the guys, you know, a 12 row head with just average shatter loss, it takes about 1,100 acres for payback. If you have a six row head, it's half that. Wow. And most of these guys are running more acres than that a year, maybe two or three times more. Sure. So imagine the return just the first year. And then on top of it, they're replacing their worn out maintenance parts with ours, right? right? So not only are they getting the corn side of it for the return, if they had to replace their, their wore out parts, that's taken care of. But there's two other parts of the return also that each farmer has to, to put a value on. Uh, the second one is that volunteer corn issue. The, you know, our bean fields, when they start getting loaded up with corn, I mean, none of us like it. No. Uh, so extra chemical costs and that, you know, the corn plant as a weed does cost us bushels. And then the third part of it is, is like in our operation, um, we didn't. We wanted to before we had the harvest sweep. Uh, we didn't want to have to combine corn at 14 or 15 percent because of the shatter. Okay. So that made us start the the combining season, you know, four or five points early, so we could get that accomplished before it got too dry. And if you actually go back and look at that, uh, the first third of the season, drying an extra four to five points at 150 to 200 bushel corn, it's wow. huge money. Right. It's huge money. Right. So again, uh, those last two ROIs, each each operation has to value what they think. But at the end of the day, just saving the corn alone pays for the kit. Right. So. so again, now if people are interested and want to you know more information or you know get into purchasing, contact you guys. The website is it Harvest Sweep. It is. Com? So it's harvestsweep.com. Okay. Um, and you can find all the models, the pricing. Uh, there's a bunch How of How many models again did you say? We have 22 different models we build for now. Um, and then the testimonials and the different videos we have on there, I, right. I think they'd, they'd enjoy that. Well, great product here, folks. Harvest Sweep. When dollars are tight, you want to save some money. It's all about ROI. <laughs> Sean, you've uh, the innovation aspect. Uh, does that come from being a fifth generation farmer, just needing that better way? You know, I think so. I, I think that's part of it. Um, I've always been the guy that's tried to fix the problems that cost us the most money and has taken the effort to do that. Um, you know, so it, but the farm is, is what kept us lean and, and efficient. Um, you know, this, this, this industry to, to keep the next generation coming into it, I think we all have to be very efficient and we have to be good businessmen to right. be able to do that, to keep our legacy going. Absolutely. Now, Sean, I, as we were talking here, I could sense people off to the right. Man, you, you're just getting incredible lean in on another product you have here. Let's peel around the front and you can tell us here about the Low Judge. Yeah, so the Low Judge is, is yeah, of course, all of our products are first of the kind. Um, everything we do, we have pat protection on. but. Low Judge is, is quite unique. I guess what started it again it is uh, loading grain out of our farm. 
Yep. Um, we just we had such a hard time trying to load out of a 10 or 12 inch auger that um, you know getting the loads right. But it took two guys half the time, and, and if, if most of the guys on that are watching this have loaded a semi before, they know that typically we're hauling in the winter or the summer. It's either 20 below windshields or it's 100 degrees. Well, they're nature. It is. It is. And, and if the wind's blowing, it's always blowing the dirt in your face. You know? It doesn't so. blow in South Dakota, does it? <laughs> <laughs> so it's one of those things that we needed to find something that would overcome that dirt, dirt buildup, dirt, dirty conditions, yep. and still work accurately. We tried the cameras, we tried the weights, the air scales, and we just we had no consistency because of the logistical problems that came with some of that stuff. Okay. So we decided to build, a, try to find a sensor tech that we could build that would work. Yeah. And it's a proximity type base lumen tech, if you will. And, and what it is is there's six sensors that go in the trailer, and it scans every second and a half to two seconds, and it it builds a graphical imagery that you can watch on your your pad or your phone from the cab. Hmm. So once you start loading, it will show you exactly by graphical imagery on your phone how it's loading, where it is, what moisture it is. And then with our system, you can set a load line. So every different commodity you want to load, there's a specific line you can calibrate for sure. and set exactly for your specific trailer and the commodity you're hauling in. And that line is your gauge. So it allows you to load the load the same way every time. Yeah. And now Load Judge, this surprised me, Sean. You've been out a little while with this? Yeah, we, we've been out for quite some years, probably five to six years now. And it's just, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, it's just really neat. It's, if you want to say it's ahead of its time, maybe, but... So I was I was shocked that you, that, uh, you know, to the iPad, to the phone type of solution in the cab six years ago. I mean, you, you kind of were ahead of the game there. Uh, I think so. I think we recognized uh, where that was going. And we, and we knew eventually everybody was going to have a phone capable of yeah. running an app. Right. And you see what's so unique about the Load Judge is we build an app for it. And that's what communicates with the hardware of the trailer. Okay. So what that does is it gives us a platform that if you're loading out of a van, the truck driver can link on. If you're in the field at harvest time, both the grain cart operator, the truck driver, and the guy in the combine can sync on, and they can see real time how much is on the truck, what's the moisture, and manage accordingly. And talk about the feedback you've been getting here from folks who have been uh, who have purchased the low judge. You, I notice you smile. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's it's funny. It, it's almost a, a a constant. It never changes the results once a guy starts using it. It's like I don't know how I did this without it. Um, and I think there's been other products in the past that we kind of feel the same now. But what's so nice is we can stay out of the dirt. We don't have to climb the trailers all the time, and we can load our trucks more consistent. And I think when people ask, okay, what is it? Yep. I think the best thing is is it's a guidance system to help you load your your semi trailer. I think that's the best representation for it. So, so it's uh, you also. Now it's not just grain farmers. You have other folks buying low judge. Well, yeah. Abs actually, I would say about 50 to 55 percent is ag producers, and yeah. the other 45 to 50 percent is uh, over the road truckers. Wow. So, and I, I've noticed your video here has stopped making people stop. Uh, very cool. Again, right from your, right in the cab, you get the representation of what's happening in the trailer. Well, you do, and it's not only that. Let's say, uh, you know, you're cleaning out a bend, which none of us like doing. Right. And it's like, you know, if anybody's done it again, they realize it's like, well, okay, how many more shovels should I shovel before right. I go jump out the bend to move the truck? Right. You just get by the door and you can just open the app up and it'll show you exactly how much is on there. Wow. Uh, just So just small logistical things like that that make life a lot easier and safer. Um, There's some what, high high end tech in, involved with those sensors to make them uh, not 
be susceptible to dust and dirt, I would well, imagine. Well, that, that is the key to it. Um, again, all the other tech we even tried on our farm before I designed this, uh, you know, there's always logistical problems. Dirt build up, uh, maybe you're loading at night or you're loading yeah. dirty beans at harvest time and you can't see anything because of right. dust out conditions. Right. When we designed this, whatever we did, it had to overcome those. Otherwise, we didn't have a product. Okay. And it took uh, some time to do that. We tried multiple different techs, and then we had to combine a few things, and then we had to build our own because there was nobody in the country or the world that had anything like it. And so that, that's what we went after. And we came out with something that always knows the difference between dirt buildup and commodity or grains. It's, self, it's a self-calibrating system and it's, it's easy to run. Well, if people want more information, here you have, again, a, a website just for the Low Judge, right? We do. So it'd be lowjudge.com. Lowjudge.com. Folks, check it out. And also harvestsweep.com. Sean, hats off to you for your innovation, your company that you've uh, here. And you've been at it just over 10 years now, is that correct? We have, yeah. Okay, and a fifth generation farmer just no engineering background, but you're just creating new solutions? You know, I have, and I can't, I can't brag about my education, I guess, but, you know, a lot of times when, when you're passionate about trying to fix some issues, um, you'd, good be things happen. you'd be surprised what you can get. You let your customers brag about your product. That's a good thing. <laughs> yes. Sean, thank you very much for uh, telling us about Harvest Sweep and the Low Judge. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for only on MachineryPeat.com.